Hello everyone, so this is major, major news I've got for you now. This video here shows a Russian jet crashing in the Tver region of Russia. Why is this such important news? This was Yevgeny Prigozhin, the boss of Wagner's private jet. Prigozhin himself on the passenger list. Here's an image of the jet itself, tail number RA02795, which is the jet which belongs to Prigozhin. Now there was a second plane belonging to Prigozhin, RA-02748, which was said to be following after this one, but turned around after this one crashed. It isn't confirmed if Prigozhin was on board, but he was reportedly on the passenger list. Also reported on board was Dmitry Utkin, Prigozhin's right-hand man. Now it gets better. The video plane now has also been shared online. This is said to show the engagement of Prigozhin's private jet by Russian air defence systems. Now, we still don't have many details, including the big questions of 1. Was Prigozhin actually on board? 2. Was the plane actually shot down? And if so, number 3. Was it ordered by Putin? Was it a mistake thinking it was a Ukrainian drone or aircraft? Or was it even rogue elements of Russia's armed forces with a grudge against Prigozhin? These details, we're going to have to wait and see. If this was a hit, a deliberate hit, then this could very likely be Putin's revenge of Prigozhin's rebellion earlier this year. And if Prigozhin wasn't on board and he somehow survived, I'm pretty sure he is going to respond to this. If the jet, of course, can be confirmed to have been shot down. Indeed, Wagner are fiercely loyal to Prigozhin, so it's going to be interesting to see how they respond to this. Maybe we will see a sequel to the Wagner Rebellion we saw earlier this year. Now, backing up claims that this was down deliberately is flight data showing that the aircraft just disappeared from radar while climbing. No descent was recorded, as you would see with a crash. So this is big, big news, and we're definitely going to have to wait for confirmation as to what exactly happened and whether the man himself was actually on board. I will update when we get more information, but as it's now 2am here in Taiwan, that update is going to have to wait until I wake up. So, good night everyone, thanks for watching, and have a nice day.